The printers are unfixable. This story and more on ThreatWire. Received a weird email on your company email that was a real email, but was clearly a phishing email? Turns out Microsoft left a huge endpoint open allowing this to happen. The team at Verona's Threat Labs discovered a new email campaign beginning in May 2025 that took advantage of the direct send feature. The direct send feature is not a popular or well-known piece of technology in the Microsoft 365 suite of tools, but it allows internal devices to send emails without requiring any authentication. Direct send uses a smart host with a consistently formatted domain name that could easily be guessed by the attackers. By figuring out the recipient email or company email pattern, attackers were able to send spoofed emails that appear to come from within the organization bypassing phishing filters. This bypass required zero authentication. The attackers used the send-mail-message-powershell command to send the spoofed emails. Veronis did find this phishing bypass being used in the wild. Emails that are sent using this method do come from external IP addresses, as well as have other indicators of illegitimacy. Eight new vulnerabilities that affect over 748 models of printers across five different manufacturers, 689 of which are all brother printers. Contact about the vulnerabilities began about a year ago in May of 2024. The CVSS of the eight vulnerabilities range from as low as 5.3 to a critical 9.8. The critical 9.8 CVSS belongs to CVE 2024-51978. The authentication bypass vulnerability allows a remote unauthenticated attacker to generate the target device's default administrator password. The default password is generated using the manufacturing process by transforming the device's unique serial number into the default password. Seven of the vulnerabilities found have remediations available via firmware updates for affected printers. The 9.8 CVSS CVE requires a complete change to the manufacturing process. Brother has indicated that this vulnerability cannot be fully remediated in firmware and has required a change to the manufacturing process of all affected models. The only affected models that are made via this new manufacturing process will be fully remediated against CVE 2024-51978. For all affected models made via the old manufacturing process, Brother has provided a workaround. I had to ask the writing stream mess, why should we care about a printer vulnerability? And I got some really great answers. A great example of why this is important is if the printer is used to print sensitive documents. Attackers can use the admin access to reconfigure the printer or install new software that will send the data for the documents to the attacker, allowing them to read the contents of the sensitive prints. Let me know other ways that this could be used in the comments. In 2023, the Citrix Netscaler Gateway and Netscaler ADC products were affected by a buffer overflow vulnerability that allowed for MFA bypass and user session hijacking. This vulnerability, CVE 2023-4966, was dubbed Citrix Bleed. A new set of vulnerabilities affecting those same products has been discovered and one is being dubbed Citrix Bleed 2. The vulnerabilities CVE 2025-5349 and CVE 2025-5777 were disclosed by Citrix publicly on June 17th, 2025. The highest interest vulnerability is the CVE 2025-5777, which works by using out-of-bounds memory reads to steal tokens and extract authentication data to bypass MFA and hijack user sessions, which sounds pretty similar to the OG Citrix Bleed attack. In the formal Netscaler blog, it says that the vulnerabilities have not been seen exploited in the wild, but researchers at ReliaQuest have seen otherwise. While no public exploitation of CVE 2025-5777, dubbed Citrix Bleed 2, has been reported, ReliaQuest assesses with medium confidence that attackers are actively exploiting this vulnerability to gain initial access to targeted environments. In addition, Citrix has slowly been changing CVE's information as time progresses, with the original description of CVE 2025-5777 originally talking about how out-of-bounds memory reads for the Netscaler management interface 
was affected, but they eventually changed it to be more general about the Netscaler products. There are several versions of the ADC and Netscaler products that are affected by these vulnerabilities, so be sure to update your Citrix instances ASAP. Some affected are considered to be end of life, so hopefully this gets you to upgrade your instances. Thank you so much for watching ThreatWire for the week of June 30th, 2025. If you enjoyed this show, please head over to patreon.com slash ThreatWire. It's almost one month to DEF CON, so who's excited? I'm going to be there, of course. I'll be at the Hack by booth and running around. I'm also going to be doing the Feet Feud again this year, so if you didn't catch me participating last year, I'm going to be captain of one of the teams, so be sure to look for that on the schedule. If you want to find me online everywhere before then, you can find me at Ending with Ally. Thank you so much for watching, and as per usual, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.